You're not talking to me now, Connor. Talk to him. I tell you, yeah, the fame, fame's gone straight to his head. <laughs> I was going to go into that shop there That's exactly and buy you I mean. any jelly of your choice, but you made a hurtful comment. You were not going to buy me any jelly. I was? Yeah. No. I was. Hannah, let's go from yeah, the bounties then. Huh? Eat bounties. Bounties are nice. Do you eat bounties? Why do you not eat bounties? Eat bounties. chocolate orange. Bounties are grand. What? No. Here, off the record, I wasn't going to buy you anything either way. Bounties are nice. No, no, I, 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 you know, I know like that. Chewing. That. It's like chewing. <laughs> it's like chewing yeah, fucking yeah, they MDF they or something. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. It's not that weird. 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 It's not Crapless. The sun is splitting the stones, it's absolutely roasting. I'm just out doing one lap practice, we only got a small practice because there was a big crash. But um, I just did my first lap here, it's oh my god, it's it's unbelievable. Uh, I I went out and I just I played it very safe, I was very cautious, but um, I was amazing. I just went out and enjoyed myself really and um, we have another group now at four o'clock so I get a spot more comfortable and maybe go a bit harder. And we have the Drift Master qualifying tonight, so I might get him a chance to get into Drift Master. So 
I was going to try and dry myself and uh, hopefully we can get through. Look what's even inside the door for now.
zu. What did you do last night? You were off an Irish immediate. Well, you were off a shite. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Kate. <laughs> 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 Right on, we're on it. I had my my qualifying lap again for the uh, Drift Masters yesterday, and it didn't it didn't go out where I planned. Uh, I changed the diff ratio before I went out because the one I had in was too short, and I just didn't have enough time with that diff in. So my run wasn't perfect. I got. 76 I think and got me into 11th place but I have actual qualifying now and uh, I'm excited to be honest so I'm not, I'm not really nervous, a small bit but uh, I'm just looking forward to going out and doing a run and hopefully we can qualify top 10, top 10 would be the goal and if we can achieve that I'll be happy for us in that. Yes so lads we're here, um, it's Friday, it's the main day for the Iron Drift King competition. We had um, a good day yesterday. Uh, practice from early morning until yesterday evening and then we had the wild card qualification for drift masters um, and look to be honest i had a lot of trouble yesterday trying to get the gear and right in the car and it wasn't until i actually went out for my qualification last night that i actually had the right ratio in so um it, it was good i took it as another practice lap basically and uh, the car is good now feels good and i'm hoping to go now and do a good qualification for the iron drift kit <laughs> Up next, we have Thomas Falvey. Falvey M Sport S15, 750 horsepower to Jay-Z. Let's see how the Falvey throws on today. A little bit of a straight in there. Too much happening into the first clipping point. Seems to get it pulled back together, just not quite as deep as we want to see. Um, just looking a little bit shaky. I, 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 I almost feel like he's 
going to go into the wall every every corner. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but he's nowhere near it, but it just <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Like well, something doesn't look right. That uh, might be his hesitation too. He's feeling like maybe the car's gripping up and launching it forward and then he's, you know, overcorrecting for it, but it was almost I would call that a double initiation. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I think I would as well. Yeah. yeah. Too far too long on the handbrake. Uh, straightens the car back up, still on the handbrake, and then tries to give it another little shot to get it to go in. And it does go in, but uh, probably not at the pace or the line that we are looking for. But Tomas Falvey is sponsored by Elite Autos, Mobile One, Burke Lubricants, Westlake Tires, Drift 2 Motorsport, RH Construction, Dean M Sport, and Moose Design. Thomas Falvey, up now. Kind of Ireland. Another, for now, another Falvey. Yep. 12 years Irish Drift Championship veteran. That is crazy. <laughs> OG. Looks like uh, he came fifth oh, last year. Very close to the wall. Coming through clip four. his way the last couple of zones. Oh, boy. There it is. Nice run from Tomas Falvey. Yeah, so don't know if that's going to beat his, uh, his previous one. Oh, it does. it does. Okay, 62, but still not enough. Scary place to be, Connor Falvey. Up now. Let's see how we get on. There's plenty of excitement. I think he broke the car the first time round. And this looks like a really good run so yeah. far from Connor Falvey. Flicks it through nice into clip four, collects that up beautifully. Oh, wow, this is looking absolutely fantastic as he just takes the rear light oh, cover off. Hold on to that wall. Can he hold on to it? A little bit left of break, a tiny correction, but comes across the line. That was almost over there, coming into five, uh, or sorry, six. He almost over rotated the car, but uh, absolutely lit up those West Lakes. That, it's going to take us a second to get the smoke out of the stadium. 
But a big left foot break there, but made it look tidy. Adds a nice it's smooth, bit of angle. It's smooth. Yeah, it's just you can use left foot break. It just you don't want to notice the, the yeah. change in the car. Like it's a tool to use. Just it's just how you use it. But damn, coming into four there, that looked great. Super it's almost good. bouncing off yeah. the wall all the way. I wonder through. whether he is. I think he is. Yeah. I mean, by the looks of the taillights. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he Great was doing. Great transition to five. And this is where I thought he was going to over-rotate, but caught the car, used throttle correctly to kind of push himself out of it. It's uh, it was a great run. Yeah, 87. Yeah, 87. yeah, coming off a zero, that's exactly what you want. Connor Falvey had a point to prove, and he did just that. Please, please don't. No. Now, up next, Connor Falvey against Arnold Fischer. Fischer. Falvey versus Fischer. The battle of oh. the Fs. Fs. Yeah. Fs. Falvey in the lead position. Fischer holding back a little bit. Looking like he is going to want to try and get the jump. Does he? He does get the jump. Oh, good timing. Oh, Falvey, though, messing with him, leaving a little bit of time. After putting up to uh, to to mess him up a little bit, as Falvey comes around the corner on oh, a nice line. Looks like he's going to go a bit deep. Fisher making the dive right at the end of the first corner. Is he going to make another dive again? He cuts the corner. It's Falvey on a wide line. Will Fisher make a dive now? He needs to do it. He does. He cuts the track. Makes a dive onto the front of Falvey's door, and they cross the line. I really like the way that Connor's car moves and rotates and how he's able to sink the back end into the zones. Yeah. So you can see where he's a little bit wide and then right there, he's able to get the back end out and get the car to sink in. And uh, it's able, he's able to make a correction early before the mistake actually even happens. Yeah. Uh, the downside of this is that Fisher really struggled in the yeah, chase there. massively struggled. I yeah. mean, he was straight there. I, I mean, I don't, yeah. It's it's it, it's really tough, especially if you think a guy is going to make a mistake like that. And maybe you draw back a little bit, but I mean, they, they do a good transition here. Yeah. Though. That was nice, and then it was just a, a dive again. I think. Yeah, it's tough. You want to have that proximity, but it's it, everything's but it's just going to be. You've got to be close to the right part of the car. Exactly. You can't be like trying to overtake the lead car on the wrong line. That's that's just doesn't count. That's no. not it. 
So Fisher out front now, Falvey going to be following. Oh, Falvey left for dust a little bit on the lead run. Yeah. I imagine he can draw back as Fisher takes Whoa. a massive shortcut. Falvey takes an even bigger shortcut to try and get gain some proximity, makes a dive again onto the side of Fisher's door. Fisher really cut the track massively. Falvey having to judge exactly where he's going by just purely watching the car in front and not the actual track as they come across the line. Yeah, that was very, very smart driving from Falvey. Uh, he was aware of what, what he needed to do. Uh, he made cuts in some interesting spots and how deep yeah. he made those. But understanding that Fisher was not on the correct line through a lot of this. Yeah, I mean, but that's a huge cut by Falvey as well. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, Fisher's uh, missing yeah, a lot of the zone. Yeah. Like, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to follow him yeah. off track, right? So it's... I think it's, personally, I think it's justified. I think making a cut like that makes sense. The other guy's, you know, cutting in some other spots, and you're essentially just picking a line that's going to set you up for a different corner. If you're yeah, already going to sure. miss that corner, you might as well miss it completely and yeah. then make sure the rest of the run looks good. 100%.